The Whiskey Brothers. Welcome, everybody, to the Whiskey Brothers podcast. We're your Whiskey Brothers. This is episode 1077. I'm Slade Ham. That's Jerry Wayne Longmire. Howdy. That's Sam Damaris. You'll never have two black guys in here at once. It's a, it's a <laughs> 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 missing is Trey Tutson uh, off doing uh, Tutson-ish things. Uh, but we are here for you. Chicken in the back. Chicken, are you good? I always got to check in with you. He said, yes, sir. Tutson-ish things. Tutson-ish things. That boy has a wide array of stuff. It's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that could be fucking anything. Uh, a Little Red Stephen King novel. <laughs> Tutson-ish things. Uh, we're here. We're happy. We're tiptoeing into April. I'm excited. By the time this is out, my special will have been out for a week. Hopefully you guys are like the 40th or 50th people to watch it by now that we have got <laughs> a big audience. Uh, oh, I've already got a bot like set up to stream it. Just on repeat. <laughs> and you don't have to owe me for my electric bill, but you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I got like, Bitcoin miner. Yeah, I got like three computers, a fucking tablet, just all <laughs> sitting up there. I have 22 Sony PlayStations <laughs> <laughs> wired up in one corner of my garage. I used to do that when, uh, when you could drop an album. You remember that? Yeah. I put an album out in 2010, and then I went to every iStore I could find. And would just go scroll through the iPad, go to the iTunes store, and I couldn't buy it, but I could hit play on some stuff because they would be logged in or what it was. And I would just get, I think, the plays, but if nothing else, the next person that came up to the iPad, they would have to see my album. <laughs> that was my that was my marketing Gorilla plan. marketing there at the Beaumont fucking all, Apple store. All we, oh, no, I had to come to Houston. <laughs> there was no Apple store in Beaumont. Oh, my God, there's a pawn shop. There's, a, there's an Apple store in Beaumont, but they sell Apple. Yeah, actual <laughs> apples. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure you can just go to Fiverr and get, like, a million plays on Spotify or something. Wow. There's got, it's, there, I, I don't trust anything anymore. I don't know what a million views means. I don't know what a million followers means. I don't know what a million dollars means. I know I don't have them. I know all those things. <laughs> but, like, it's just when people, when people like, because you can buy or hire or do or say, and it's not like, like real talent nah, fights its way. Oh, that guy's good, right? No, Ed Sheeran doesn't have to convince you that he's not out there buying stuff. But when I see some of these people, and you're like, you yeah. Oh, uh, somebody forwarded me. They're like, hey, can you show your management team this rapper? And uh, I was like, bro, I don't know how you got a million followers All right, what's on Instagram, the... <laughs> but, Dude, but thing, none man. of the names are names we've heard before. What, I you know, know some I mean? dudes, and, and I'm not going to call them out by name, even though I want to, because one of them I just don't like. But I know some motherfuckers with 250K followers, and I figured out, especially on Instagram, it's so easy to spot. When they fucking faked it, because Paul named a noom. <laughs> no, two hundred fifty k followers, but every post has eleven <coughs> likes. <laughs> and that's that's, that's what I like I'm about like, my stuff. You can look through my catalog, and it's all got a ton of reactions, like like you. Bro, you got a hundred thousand comments yeah. per fucking post. I, I I've watched your shit, but it's eleven likes, but quarter million followers, and and then you start looking through the Twitter. You look at the follow. Everybody's that egg. And I'm like, yo, how are people not doing two more clicks and realizing you're full of shit? Yeah, that's, that's how this rapper was. It was so bad. Did did also get forwarded another rapper out of Atlanta who's really, really good. I don't know why people are sending oh, me who rappers. Who thinks you're their demo? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I, I got turned on to this dude because they're like, hey, and he's looking for you know agency type shit like that. Uh, his name is Jerry Wayne Longmire. Get the fuck out of here. He's a young black man from Alabama, and he's incredible. He's he's really good. You're biased. Uh, no, but I think you it's just gonna, want him to be no, good. No, no, I, I, I swear just want him second to we take be a break. anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's legit. It, the music's legit, but what I find the most exciting about this is rappers don't live long lives. So at some point, there's going to be a news story that says, Rapper Jerry Wayne Longmire was killed in drive-by. In you better hope today. it says rapper. <laughs> oh, buddy, if you... <laughs> you better hope it says rapper. And I'm going to get a huge boost. <laughs> <laughs> That's if he's good. Otherwise, barista from Oklahoma. Can you imagine them spray-painting the wrong mural on a wall in Atlanta? <laughs> I mean, 
God. Too soon with my J-Bird. <laughs> God, but not for God with his big ass fucking beard. <laughs> God, you'll be the Rachel Dolezal of Black Lives Matter. <laughs> JW for the streets in Atlanta. <laughs> Just pretend. No, we're two different people. Oh, yeah, bro. You you got to make Airbrush t-shirts as soon as that happens. He's got some. I just want to buy one of his. <laughs> <laughs> Your merch is his merch. Yeah, That's well, pay I will full start price. selling his merch at my store at my shows. Oh, this is so good. Here's my rap shirt. Now, hang on, wait a minute. Uh, 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 what's your domain name? Uh, I own JerryWayneLive.com, JerryWayneLongmire.net, JerryWayneLongmire. A uh, couple things. I even own JerryWayneLongmire.com, which is so he can't get. Anything. No, we'll see. What happened is uh, honestly in the early days of the internet, the MySpace days, and everything. There was a party band out of Florida called the Jerry Wayne Band. And this dude bought everything Jerry Wayne, JW, that you could get your hands on. And he let a whole bunch of it lapse because they got old. And uh, uh, when, they all, keep all those. when they and all you, lapsed, you I had all. alerts set to buy them, so I bought them all. <laughs> but I, I own some comic book domains and some other stuff. What's the best one Comedian you Jerry uh, Wayne Longmire shot dead over websites. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> By rapper Jerry Wayne Longmire. And now it will be the correct mural airbrush in Atlanta. <laughs> so wait, what's the coolest one you own? Um, I own SergeantSlaughter.com. I bought that just for shits and giggles. What? Yeah. Is he dead? Uh, Sergeant Slaughter? Yeah. The the original comic book that it's like an old Marvel yeah yeah episode. but the wrestler is GI Joe oh the wrestler I don't know he might the still GI be Joe man uh, yeah. he actually, no I just saw him on DDP no, Yoga no, hanging out with those dudes. Sergeant Slaughter has a uh, he has a corporate job within the WWE like he's yeah. he's one of the decision makers on who gets fired he was the and, same thing in GI Joe. <laughs> well, he was a sergeant. Yeah, no, okay, that's right. This dude, this dude, yeah, like, I have a list he's still making four. like big. I money. went out and bought obscure uh, Marvel and DC comics names after they made Iron Man, because uh, who do you have? Because who who the fuck is the one that told me to do it? Uh, he died. A funny guy out of Nashville. Jay Ralphie Scott Holman. Jay Scott Holman told me to do it. He was Jr. Jw. Let me hear what you gotta do, Jw. <laughs> You got to wait till they make the Squirrel Girl movie, <laughs> J.W., and then you're going to be rolling in money, you the motherfucker. Pit, the, the pitch, you want bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get bucks. So, cheers. Who'd you get? I have a mess of them. I have about 60 of them total, and a lot of them are just have nothing. And then some of them have been bought over the years because we get... Uh, offers uh, We got auctions on them Or offers on them See you're one of these guys That's good at this kind of shit I briefly entertained that I drunkenly bought uh, While I was with you Pigranch.com I thought that sounded like It might be something one day I'm surprised it's not Like an overweight person I thought oh. it would be An overweight uh, Overweight dating site That's what that, I, I thought that, It would make When it. we were drunk That is not what you thought It was gonna be What did I say You bought it Because we thought It was gonna be Fat girl porn Okay well that's basically The same thing <laughs> As the, I was being polite. Overweight dating site. It's fat girl porn. It's like only fans. It's like only hams. Well, at the like time, the, like that's, that, that's when that BD, the BBW acronym was like, like that was a thing. That was if you logged into Pornhub, it was one of the first things they showed you. The because there was a point when that wasn't a category. Yeah. There yeah. Was, porn. We we. How, no, as a fellow that appreciated thick women, there was a time where we were underserved. Yes. How easily we forget that this was merely no. yesterday in the cosmic yeah I, I scheme remember, of things. You know. Rubbing one out, some skinny girl depressed. On VHS. <laughs> you remember? Like, well, she should just eat a sandwich. That's, <laughs> and that's the thing. Is that like porn, porn, I think, is the only place now where like equality and entertainment like truly exists. It's what it's, sells what sells. It, it doesn't matter your body type anymore. In the 90s, if you were flat-chested, it, it, it wasn't happening. Everyone had fake tits. Now, now there's like, hey, here's little tits, here's big tits. There is not a woman girls. that lives on your street that couldn't make a living in porn. Oh, absolutely not. not at all. There's 100% of it. That's just porn. to say every, it doesn't matter. It there's just doesn't porn. matter There's if, if they decided to pursue that. I have and nothing there's no retirement plan. 60 years old, guys are still willing to look. Uh, I would say don't pursue it in Texas. <laughs> it doesn't so sound has, like it's so Ken Paxton suing everybody, and I know we don't get political, but I am sick to death of that son can, of a bitch. Can, we talk can I about just the, tell you that? Yes, uh, and the he's fact making that, me want to leave Texas. I am concerned that there is not a larger swath of violence 
since the now there are still alternatives, right? If your wife, you're tracking the porn outage, um, but at first the big well, ones. I saw went the down. news. I saw Pornhub left, and then I saw Hamster. Yeah, Pornhub and then X Hamster, but followed by almost all of the others. It's slowly. There's only a couple more that are accessible, and I know <coughs> Turbo VPN is a free app that you can download on your phone, and you can watch all of that of shit course. very instantly. But that many. That's my point. There are not. What you got to look at the convergence of lines between tech savvy. And, and hillbilly Texans who Could are you mad. Write that down on that sheet of paper. No, <laughs> <laughs> Turbo. You we'll just make it the episode title. <laughs> the the amount of the, the amount of rural Texas that is not out there figuring out VPNs, that is just subjected to having to go old school and I guess pull out a magazine. What are they doing right now? You go to Twitter, you look up a porn star, you click media, and she posts all of her fucking videos. That's how I got away with it on cruise ships. Yeah, they're not going to block Twitter. Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, Tumblr was away. Jesus but... Elon owns it now. Oh, well, they, I mean, they, <laughs> they threw off Trump. There's only a matter of time before they do block X. Uh, uh, but how you're talking about like all the Oh, they blew him off again. They still won't give him an account now that Elon owns it? Oh, I don't know. He's back on it, but oh, he, he does it. He, he'd rather post. On True Social yeah. or whatever? Before he goes out of business. But see, you're yeah, talking like about. That thing is failed you're miserably. You're talking about all the rural Texans and how they're reacting to it. What makes me laugh is all the Californians who moved here for a better life. <laughs> <laughs> and their kid's like, take me back to here. Ocean Beach, Dad. Now they're here. Dad, this place sucks. <laughs> He's like, hey, this place might suck, but I notice we're not going through shampoo as fast anymore. <laughs> Are you just not washing your hands? <laughs> Get out of my room. <laughs> Who is asking for Sears catalogs? What is going on? That's right. <laughs> All your socks are still white. <laughs> like, this is... <laughs> it's amazing what the air quality in a place like Texas will do. For I'm a little worried that that kind of thing actually will bump up some crime numbers. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, uh, getting Specifically reported? one crime. Yes, domestic abuse. Oh, I was thinking rape, but... Oh, yeah. That's the... Uh, that both... Uh, but no, yeah, I, I don't. There's crazy people out there. They need an outlet. Well, but here, yeah, but see, this is where I and I, I want to tiptoe through this carefully so we get the middle chunk of this sanctioned or something. But the or, or, or but it's I I worry more less about those far extremes than I do about the the simmering underlying frustration that comes out with a backhand in parts of Texas. Well, not only that, you know what else Ken's suing? He's suing all the cities that have decriminalized marijuana. Wait, what? Ken Paxton's also suing all what the cities that have decriminalized marijuana. Why? Don't we, do we vote soon? How does this keep <laughs> happening? How is anybody... He was supposed to go to jail. <laughs> How he didn't get indicted is a miracle of the modern legal system. So my political stance is, is, <laughs> out, is a spectator. The But... Uh, huh? We're going to have to change the lyrics to that song. Bro, he's the stars mess, at man. night are not so bright. <laughs> Yeah, this Ooh. is this gets getting fucked around here. I, I talk, I'm like, are you trying to incite? Wait, I, that doesn't a war? Make... <laughs> like, are you trying to incite violence? Well, because here's the, the thing: the the population density. I'll take away the porn and the weed. We'll see who what gets other, political. What other what other cities in Texas have decriminalized it? Austin uh, and Houston. It was Colleen. No, Austin. So he can't come out to Houston because it's a Harris County, and county supersedes what he can do. Okay, but he can sue these cities because their counties are helping him sue them. So they're suing, uh, is it San Antonio, Colleen, Austin? So it's a Travis West, Texas, County. West Texas town. I can't remember the name of. And there's one more. Uh, it may be Dallas. I don't know. But it's. To force them to have to criminalize. To, to, uh, to criminalize marijuana again. Enforce the laws. According to the state's laws. Here's the deal, man. It, at some point, it's. You know, with little kids. You telling me that legless dude isn't up there taking the 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 mayor, the the governor of the president of Texas, whatever the fucking uh, governor of Texas, yeah. Abbott, Governor Rabbit. I, I I try not to say his name because I can't not say Governor Rabbit. He's not taking THC for those legs. Why he can't feel it he, for his spine? Wherever it reconnects, wherever <laughs> the board got put back together. You telling me there's not some pain? Somewhere. Side side note, sidebar. I stumbled onto a whole thing today about people with that foot stuff where their feet go numb. What's that called? That diabetes? Yeah, but there's a neuro, neuro, neuropathy, 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 neuropathy yeah. yeah, of their animals eating their feet while they're asleep. 
Anyways, going back to Governor Rabbit. Sure. Let's just <laughs> let's just glaze past that. Let's just glaze past well, that. Well, I just wanted, I was, I was like, I wonder if his dogs have ever nibbled on his feet. <laughs> how, how frequently does this occur? A lot. A very, we, uh, we very did, common. Tell, very. Okay. Well, I know. Define. There, uh, well, you can search it, and there's hundreds and hundreds of YouTube and TikTok stories of pe- people with neuropathy, getting their feet eaten by their pets, usually cats. So we have to get Governor Ab's dog high so he gets the munchies. <laughs> what in the... Ne- huh? They don't feel it. They okay, got neuropathy, so, so they don't... And the skin's numb. This is my own ignorance. All right, so... Because they say when you die, your pets will eat you, right? Yes. But I, dogs, I they say, take a little longer. Dog, the, but yes. it's the small breeds, the terriers and stuff, the dachshunds. That's Chihuahuas the ones probably eat you like 30 minutes before you're really gone. You uh, probably got to tell a Chihuahua to get off you. They say cats. Yeah, cats don't are like wait. Instant. Yeah. Once cat too. knows you're dead, cat starts nibbling. Cats decapitate people all the time because they like the neck meat. Also, that's what probably fresh what hell has weakest. We're not talking about their penises. Though. What if I've been introduced <laughs> to? <laughs> Do you want to go back to animal penises? Do de- you want to de- go back? De- 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 ca- oh, get Lane Staley by from your Allison Chains, when they found him, he, his cats had done, gone to work. Yeah, bro. So do those cats go for more on the mark? Like, do, does Lane Staley's cat, once it's full of Lane Staley... Do, can, do, the is, litter box might. The, <laughs> <laughs> that's an expensive fucking litter box. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh some of the litter they collected <laughs> after Lane Staley's cat. You got to be a super fan. Yeah, I don't want any. But part think of about that. the value on that. I mean, just well, I mean, just the street. I value mean, let's just that. throw it out there for numbers. It's probably a five thousand dollar memorabilia. A hundred percent. I just I, because I doubt all of the H was metabolized. Yeah, you know, there's uh, for sure. I'm the so. man. In the- <laughs> <laughs> Buried oh my in god! My shit! <laughs> we have entered a new room. You couldn't have planned that! Oh we have planned that! Oh we have entered a new room. I just remembered the neuropathy when you were talking about Governor Rabbit. You I was like, oh man. That's in a, a billion years. That's a 30 something year callback from Lane Staley. <laughs> <laughs> no one's known what that song meant until now. Now. Nah. Fuck you, Vietnam. No, that was the rooster. This is, this is. We have so I oh, guarantee you, me. at one time tonight, Google search will include the search Lane Stanley's cat litter. Oh. <laughs> Lane Staley, rest in peace. One of the greatest uh, rock vocalists. It's my favorite. And good friend of my associate here. producer on my special. So apologies, Kevin, if you're mm. watching this. Yeah, nothing um, gets you, your buddy, <laughs> but his cats ate him. I don't know if they could sing better after they ate him. Or... <laughs> the, so, so wait. Here's my question. I was trying to get to about Governor Rabbit. Do so his legs don't work like not at all. Like nothing, no. like he can't feel. You could poke him with a pen. I don't know much about it. Okay. To be honest, with you. I know he's so in a wheelchair. So, if my question is, when you're when you're to that state, why not cut them off so your cats don't eat them? Because they're just decoration, right? They're not. You don't. You're not using. That would be. I would actually ask somebody that was. Uh, I mean, if there was like. I think with some people, as technology changes, there's always the hope that, hey, maybe one day somebody's going to figure out how to fix this. Electroshock. And then, you know, I'll have to work, because that's why they do physical therapy, to keep the muscle strong and the atrophied legs. And So does he, do you think Governor Rabbit's doing, he does PT every day? Uh, well, I mean, I imagine he's got decent insurance. I, they, I don't know if you've seen the insurance package for governors. It's pretty fucking good. But yeah, fair. Includes a gym membership. Doesn't mean you use it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. Wait, what? <laughs> I guess it rolls around the track yeah, or whatever, you know, but it's like, probably not doing a stair So climber. much for don't skip leg day. Yeah, there's no leg day. <laughs> but, you could probably. But, uh, I got a badge at Governor Rabbits in there doing curls and shit, you know. Right, but are you working on the. Do you do anything with the legs or do you just say, fuck it, they're rags now? I, I've only ever had one friend that was uh, paraplegic, and he did physical therapy all the time to keep his legs okay, and his on. joints in good shape. My friend Bobby, his arm, he he took a round. It was long. I won't get into the story. Lost the use of the arm, and he still has the arm. And for so that happened in two thousand and four, five two thousand four or five in Iraq. 
totally lost the use of it. It's just hanging. Mm -hmm. And did you go with me to that show? And bone and that yeah, I yeah. That and he shook my hand and there was pressure and that light in his face and he goes it just happened yeah out of nowhere so maybe that's the I, I guess that's what I would do oh, I would there, there are people working all the time to try to figure right. that little mystery out and fix it you okay. know for different I have a, a friend that I, I just but that's like carrying with. your backpack around just in case you need it like all your luggage I've never seen you which go anywhere I do without all a the backpack. time okay. yeah fair that's fair. 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 fair 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 and six cameras in it you know what I mean like bro <laughs> I, I think I would keep my legs. I, right, I anyway. think I would, just in case. Yeah. Just in case they got useful. Again. I'm not making yeah. the case for everybody should chop them off the minute you skin Nothing your else. Neck. It'll give the cats a minute before they get to anything important. And oh, no. <laughs> they, go, they go for up here first. I got and, a chance to fight them all. Cats deserve every bad thing that happens to them. Oh. Just as a species. No. Just, I'm joking. Predators. I don't mean like. I don't they're mean just like, doing what they I don't do. I mean like hit by a car. I just mean that they already live such selfish, perfect little lives that they don't need any more breaks like us making it easy for them <laughs> to eat our legs. That's all. Yeah. Not kill the cats. Yeah, just. there was just story after story. I just stumbled onto it on accident. Uh, I forgot what I was even watching. And it was talking about all these people in neuropathy. And they are just wake up in the middle of the night and their dog's chewing on their toes. Like, oh, hell, I got to go to the ER. Yeah, you would have to. Because, <laughs> oh, okay. Because you, can, you, you can't feel it. You can still bleed the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still get an infection and, yeah. you know, whatever. Does blood pump? I have so many. I'm going to, I'm not going yes, on blood I'm not going to know any of this You stuff. still have veins there. Blood's pumped in there. Yeah. I don't need to know this. You just can't move. Dark it's man. the tastiest delicate meats. Oh. What part? What, no, I'm not going to. I mean, you imagine beans. after a dog's had a toe, he's going to stop. Oh yeah, you think, you can't think sleep about anymore. the way you've seen a dog. Have you ever gave a rib bone to a dog uh -huh. and what? How uh, it, you just it's great white shark the dog once it but gets a taste. Or if a he had a, if he had a toe in his mouth like uh -huh. a clean one, uh -huh. you know, is this like a crocodile? Now nah, you got to get rid of that dog. Yeah, that that, that can't got to be put down. Hundred percent. No, or just, just adopt it out. So what? Just adopt it out. Children. Hey, nobody's got neuropathy, do they? Okay. No? Okay, cool. No worries. Yeah, a family that can <laughs> I don't feel think their toes. You I wake don't, up and go, hey, bitch, get on me. I don't think once a dog has a taste for it, it waits for the neuropathy. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I think you yeah, might be uh, on. It's like completely completely unrelated. Does anybody in this house have neuropathy? People no? Don't. Good. All right. People this is don't a good do dog. Those, those kids who came back from that Uruguayan flight, they, did, they didn't like have a taste for human when they got back, right? Those, that we know those of soccer players. Oh, they the might have a taste people. for it. They just that unlike dogs, they have something in their brain. They go, "Hey, maybe I shouldn't do this," or maybe I shouldn't tell anybody I, I liked it. Why don't dogs have that? Because they're fucking animals. They're they, animals. They, they eat, sleep, shit. That's what they do. Just too you long know what's weird? Come? They say uh, golden retrievers don't. Golden what? retrievers and labs don't eat their owners. They're like maybe if they were locked in there for a month, they would, but they usually do not. I can't. So if you're gonna get a dog. They are stupid loyal, <laughs> and they are, like, yeah. really, really obedient, so maybe. Yeah, they said that that, that was, uh, I was listening to an EMT talk about all the dogs and cats he's found I feel like people that have died. And I feel like those dogs are smart enough. They, they've they opened a private restaurant, and they know how to get fresh humans shipped in, and they're cooking it right <laughs> and stuff, and they're just, yeah, no, we don't need humans at all. And then privately, they got some eyes wide shut <laughs> stuff going on in a dog basement. <laughs> Uh, well, every once in a while, I'll go to the crime scene, you know, see what we can find. All right. So, what's the? I was, I was, I was gonna ask you this earlier. What's the weirdest uh, endorsement you've been asked to do that you've had to immediately say no to? Like, what's the oddest, most brazen? How, how, how the fuck did this get in my inbox? Why would they think I would want to be um, the spokesperson for this? It, it wasn't like disgusting or anything, but uh, I had a lady send me a whole thing about oat milk creamer for your coffee Ooh! and she was like i just want to send you so i was like i don't want it <laughs> i don't use creamer in my car i drink my coffee black i don't want it and she would not give up she came after me for like a week on email just like steady it i finally just blocked her I what's was the like, follow-up third your... email trying to get you to take free oat milk look uh, yeah. like what world are we living in <laughs> That people can even do that. Yeah, I was I'm like, lactose intolerant like a motherfucker. I was like, man, you you turn that down. Yeah, okay. I don't I don't use creamer in my coffee, so I just have no use for it at I all. Just, I, I, I just I, drink coffee I would, black. I would do it for you all know? my brethren who get the shits. <laughs> <laughs> 
what is happening right now? I got you being offered oat milk, which confuses the shit out of me. I got you trying to get his oat milk offer. Yeah. Which <laughs> I sure as fuck am. <laughs> I, get, I get lactose-free milk and I get a check? Are you shitting me? <laughs> no it's pun. not oat milk. It's oat milk creamers for your coffee. They're yeah, little that's individual. Cool. But if, and you, if you crunch enough if of them. you get six of them and put them in a glass. If you crunch enough. What, what is the... Give my man some advice here. What is the quickest path to getting Oat Milk Lady to message him? Like, what? How many posts of what nature would he need to make to to get some somebody reaching out like that? I don't know. Yes, I, uh, he blocked her. Three hundred thousand subscribers. On that. No, I, mean, I gotta believe that Oat Milk is like a a, a level below. Did it? T- did, was she like one of the most recent? Yeah, yeah. This came in hot like about three weeks ago. Oh, that's that's awesome. She's still emailing Rachel. Rachel's like, we don't want your shit. We don't. No, I'm about to buy 300. Rachel, Rachel's told her three times that I, I only do paid collaborations right now. I don't do any free collaborations. Uh-huh. I only do paid collaborations. Oh, so wait, we there's have no money attached? There's no money attached. Fuck her in there, milk. Yeah. <laughs> now, I had a lady hit me up about notebooks, and I think I'm actually going to do it, but which is a weird thing. That's uh, because it sounds so close to oat milk. Yeah, well, notebooks, they're like, they have like funny sayings on the cover or whatever, but. But he uses notebooks. Yeah, so I was like. With funny sayings on the cover? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I I can't remember what they all are, but there's actually some pretty funny ones. It's a, they've got somebody good writing for them. Okay. Or they're stealing somebody good shit. one says, show me your truck. Will you, will you do, I'm so, I'm so curious about all this, because I have friends now doing that. I get them for shoes, I get them for all kind of stuff that is, just does not. Will you ever, will you ever. Endorse something that you don't use? No, I don't want to. All right. Yeah, I just, I just try to go now. Like I've got I've got a tool offer I'm working on right now, and then I've got a new work boot offer I'm working on right now with a work boot company. But so shit you like? Yeah, stuff that I'll use or put it to the test at least, make them a video. But I'm not gonna take some crap I don't want, and then what if okay, somewhere? Okay, so here's the deal. I'm so, working on a liquor deal. The so, liquor deal is the big one. So the work boot thing, right? Uh, this is where I test. Let, let, let's quick integrity check. They send you these work boots. You put them on. They're shit, but they got to check if you if you pump their work boots. No, no, I called five hundred thousand dollars. I called Brun out over their bullshit. Six hundred thousand dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like they're not gonna throw me a check. Two hundred thousand. Like <laughs> you know, but it's a. Uh, <laughs> It's usually like uh, but, most but of you, you the won't collaborations push. at the level oh, I'm at are between five and ten thousand, uh-huh. and I'm not gonna take ten grand uh-huh. to shit on my name, uh-huh. you know, or there whatever. You go. But we could shit all over it like 70, for six hundred thousand. Yeah, we could probably crap on the name a little bit. Seventy three, seventy four. I mean, I'm not. I'm not You're trying I'm to figure not, out I'm, what's the cheapest you can get me to. What can I get you for? <laughs> I'm gonna sell you this oat milk. <laughs> I mean, seventy grand. I'll represent Tampax. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Look, I'm one not, video, one video, yeah, I'll I'm do a Tampax video. Well, I'll even right. demonstrate putting it on. Are you kidding me for seventy right, grand? Wait, hold up a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Oh, I thought you were doing it, any. Oh no, no. Oh uh, come on, no, you're gonna get seventy two. I got thirty five. I'll stick it in my nose. I got thirty five for the outer one. <laughs> seventy two for an any. Yeah, uh, seventy two. I put it in my nose. <laughs> okay. Show you how to insert it. Seventy three, <laughs> seventy four. Of course I. <laughs> At 74, I'm going to release that video I got of two Marines drinking whiskey out of a tampon. Because <laughs> that is my footage. <laughs> that is my <laughs> And I'll just have to apologize to Sergeant Jerry. Sergeant. Uh, <laughs> totally fair. That's I'll awesome. have to make a call to upstate New York. Be like, sorry, bro. You'll see. You'll get it when you see it. <laughs> Say yeah, I'm like, I'm, I wasn't gonna be one to pass with Judge Ryan because I was one telling you do the fucking oat milk, <laughs> even though you didn't do the oat milk. But until I thought that was free, I'm like, lady, you give me a thousand dollars, I'll pump your fucking oat milk. Yeah, I just <laughs> right I, from I, the breast of the oat. And it'd just be kind of <laughs> stupid to try to make a video about something I don't give a crap about. Or like. I had TikTok sends me campaign stuff all the time, and it's like for. Ooh, use this song in a video and we'll pay you a thousand dollars and it's some pop bubble like I'm not going to use that song in a video. Are you allowed to make fun of the song? No. They have a specific oh. format they want you to follow. Wait, what do they tell you to do? Uh, it's a whole list of stuff. It has to be this long. It has to have these items incorporated into it. Here's a Are you supposed video. to be telling us this? Yeah. That's, I don't know. That's I don't not, care. He is signing They're about NDA to get banned to anyways. On TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Chinese They're about spies. to get banned, so. <laughs> I just, it's, it's, does anybody, like, it, I'm concerned about our artistic culture that 
that there's too many things out there that aren't designed by actual people anymore. Yeah, let me tell you something. I get asked to brand a lot of stuff for a price that I know a lot of people say yes to. Uh And I see their videos because I'm friends with a lot of content creators. And I talk to them about what they're doing. Like, why'd you do that? Yeah, it was easy, three grand. Yeah. Yeah, but now there's always a video of you doing that. Yeah. You know, that's the yeah, but I got three grand. I like it, it, it's a different content creation is going to go through a huge. It's like any other art form, or any kind of output form, right? Mm-hmm. They all went through these big learning curves. Mm-hmm. Content creation's got one coming mm-hmm. because all the platforms have doubled down this year and all the new algorithms are designed to get rid of the guy that sits there and repost everybody else's shit. Mm. The people sharing movie clips and crap like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They want original, only original, to the point they're looking at digital markings to figure out if you film this or not. Interesting. But there's been so many lawsuits about people filming other people and uh-huh. then getting, making a quick buck off of it. Well, I mean, the just, lady that filmed the uh, the hibachi, the the what's that? Where oh, you yeah, go cook yeah. in front of you. The lady that filmed him, and then she monetized and she made something like thirty six grand off, off this that guy's video, performance. off that guy's performance. Ah. And so he sued her, rightfully so. Yeah, right. But TikTok also sued her. So, like, she got sued three different ways by by two different platforms and this guy, and she ended up owing money before it was all said and Good. done with. I mean, it's not great. They should get her to zero. They should just take everything she made off the video. They should have never let her monetize it to begin with. That, but okay. that's what they're doing right. now. That's how they're attacking it now. Setting up an account is way harder than it used to be. Getting monetized is getting more difficult by the day. Interesting. And if you're already monetized, like Facebook just come down and screwed the whole algorithm up about two months ago. That cut my money to crap on Facebook. But luckily, I'm doing right. good in other places. It's always one of them's cutting you and the other two are paying good. So you just got to juggle them. But yeah, Facebook come in and changed the whole algorithm and screwed up everything about the way and then they came out and talked to us in a uh like a creators meeting Uh uh-huh and basically said what this is what we're doing we're trying to get rid of everything that's not original if you get something flagged that is original please appeal it we've set up a new appeal process it's quicker so all those videos that are just like a dude from like nigeria making weird eyes at a video playing behind him and he's like yeah, the reaction video, all that's coming to a Oh Good. That's all I will that's drive the submarine being, to the bay. It's being attacked by next. every platform. Every good. platform is after it. It feels so good to hear that. I yeah. cause it, I, They are making moves. They won't original like all my stuff's safe because everything I do is original. Yeah, yeah. But stuff like I've done like cause people follow my fitness progress and I'll do gym videos. I used to put music on them. Even music that was supposedly, there's a huge music rights war going on between all the platforms and all right. the music owners right now. Because all this shit shouldn't just be free to everybody. Yeah, so uh, things that I previously had monetized, they've come and demonetized because it had somebody else's music right. or something in it. Even the Wrecking Yard music, who is owned by Brian, and me and Brian have talked about the licensing on it, and nailed all it down, they've come and tried to quiet that a couple times wow and that's an original piece of music well, created had, for the record i sent you a message i put a piece on tiktok now granted i've got this on the album is on spotify and youtube and a bunch of other places so the audio is out there and i'm assuming that that's what's getting it flagged on trying to post the thing on andy, TikTok. andy has had a host of troubles <laughs> because all his stuff is owned by comedy dynamics, comedy dynamics and they're going out there and calling the copyright on his account and it's him and tommy are having a huge fight with that that's a big I'm, consideration with distribution i'm my, i'm you have you know i was for a long time i almost released my special with those other people we were talking to uh-huh. and i it didn't end up doing it and i'm actually really thankful i never did now because i own 100 percent of everything about that when I did Truck Therapist, uh, these new little longer form videos I was doing, I was pursuing some longer form stuff on YouTube. I went out and bought music from a place recommended by YouTube for creator music still that you could buy the license. And then I still got flagged. And then I appealed it. And they said, okay, no problem. But it killed all the views. And I ran it again. And they flagged it again and came after the copyright again. So I've cut all the music out of that. 
uh, intro and everything. It doesn't have music anymore. Wow. Because I'm, I'm just, well, screw it. I already paid for the licensing. You're not going to let me use it. One of my goals this year was to try to jump in the TikTok pool, and I uploaded one video, and it was pulled in 30 minutes, and I said, fuck it. What did they pull it for? Uh, it, That's the spirit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was gone in 30 minutes. I was on a plane, and uh, fucking screaming ass kid, and it just, just my face. And all I said was, I was like, I go, this has not stopped the entire time. Like, this is, I go, he takes like a 10 second break. I don't know how this kid has a voice left. And I was like, anybody who is against abortion should have to fly with this kid. And I guess the word abortion. Yeah. And bro, by the time I landed, it was pulled. And I was like, okay, fuck it. Oh. <laughs> the uh, business model crumbles just like that. Can't say white people. <laughs> can't what? Spe- can't spell it correctly. Oh yeah, I got I got uh, I got put in Facebook jail for that. Yeah, yeah, I got put in Facebook yeah, jail. Yeah, you, you can. I have to be very careful when I write my jokes for the truck astrology and everything because people get mad about something I say and they come report those videos. So I have to make sure nothing I say can be construed as. You know, they anything about racism, power. gender, or anything like that. Bro, I made power. a joke about Eddie Murphy getting pulled over with a, uh, a, but with a woman who it's was rented a, land. That's the point. With a woman who was not a woman. I made that in the private Houston comics group and got thrown in Facebook jail. That's why I don't really do shit anymore. I'm like, I'm like dude, I can't do anything unless I fucking type like I am have a zero grade education. <laughs> or change the way you talk. <laughs> Fat fucking chance. <laughs> That's what I, I've had to change the way I write. But I, I took my show PG thirteen too, so it's kind of helped. It's right. actually made it an easier transition for sorry. And, bro, and that's the off. thing. So like, uh, uh, I I've been off and haven't really done much of shit. And then like, you know, started to get a little more sociable. Started posting some more shit, and then I realized why I was like, I go, this is why I didn't like this. Two or three posts. Everybody comes in, people agreeing, people liking. I guess everyone feels like they get way more attention if they dislike or if they got some shitty. To so say. contrarianism is hugely yeah. popular. And, on the platforms. and so again, this is all the beginning of the year when I decided I was gonna start doing this shit, right? But you know, for years, I I one I didn't cuss in nobody's uh, feed or whatever because I'm like some of y'all would look at this at work, and then. My mom's church friends and my middle sister, whatever, motherfuckers go back and say some shit. So come January, I started posting things. People started being whiny little bitches. And then I was like, I'm not going to say what I wanted to say because somebody go back and tell my mom, oh, that's right. (laughs) I'm free. Mama's gone now. Free. Eat a dick, 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 eat a dick. And Facebook said, you can't say that, and you're in jail. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, that, Mama. Uh, I started something at the beginning of this year where I stopped uh, really responding to negativity. Because it just would frustrate me to have, you know, uh, a thousand comments like, oh, it's hilarious. And then one bro, oh, this guy's about as funny as a fucking rubber crutch. Delete. So I just started deleting and blocking those people. I love deleting them because they get so butthurt. Yeah, and it just it's just been glorious, yeah. to be honest with you. And not if somebody genuinely <laughs> doesn't like something or whatever, I'll just ignore it. But if they're being an asshole, oh, block well, delete. Well, my thing is, like, look, if you want to, if, if I say something and you, di- and you disagree with it and you want to have a debate about it, I'm all about doing that in the comments. Yeah, yeah. But if it's, bro, this is so fucking hack, oh, is it now? And the, dude, this this fucking kid, I can't even remember where he's from. I don't know how I knew him, but he was a comic, and he called something I did fucking hack. And then I immediately went to his page, and he had a clip from like one of his last shows, and the joke was just dog shit. And so I just posted a link to the clip. I Wait, go, but what is it about Lane Staley? <laughs> <laughs> Catch it. Uh, but then I just posted a link to the clip. I go, hey, man, the day I get insulted by this guy calling me a hack, I'll cut my own dick off. Yeah. And then I posted something else a couple of weeks later. He came in there being snarky about that. And then I just was like, dude, I don't even know how I know you. 
I don't know why the fuck you're on my radar, but I do know how to fix it. And I fucking kicked him. And then he's in my fucking DMs going, oh, so we're not friends anymore? I go, be honest, we never were. I don't know who the fuck you are. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I guarantee you, I didn't request you. That's- I go, but you, you, you said, uh, I've noticed three things you said here. And all three of them have been to chime in with something shitty. And I'm, up, I'm at that 5,000 limit. I don't need you. I need That's somebody a, else in that spot. Yeah, you gave more conversation. I was about to say the dudes like that. The fact that you that they even think they deserve an explanation at that point. I'm so over motherfuckers thinking that we're supposed to. I, I get the ones that make me laugh. Like it'll be 600 comments. Like boy, you nailed that right on the money. Da, 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 da. And one guy like this guy doesn't know anything about cars. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, one of us is making a living talking about cars, and one of us is you. Yeah. Not funny at all. No. <laughs> I, I recorded this in front of a room full of people laughing, so it's it's yeah, greater yeah, yeah, than yeah. not not funny. Or I, even like yeah. the truck astrologer when I get this guy doesn't know anything about diesel. Like yeah, but one of us is making a living but, talking about diesel, and one of us is you. That was my thing with dead, <laughs> with dead celebrities. Everybody was like, oh dude, this one was weak, and this was weak, and I'd be like, you sit on the couch, do nothing, motherfucker. That's like, my rule. You're how not- are you? You're not allowed to my, critique my, my unless favorite, you post something that you just made. My favorite line is always, oh, I'm sorry you didn't like it, but you're free to get your free entertainment elsewhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or if you paid for it and didn't like it. Fucking big deal. I've bought food I don't like. I've gone to movies I don't like. I've heard songs I don't like. I bitch about all that. Eat a dick. <laughs> Literally, the fact that we're so entitled to. I am a Google review nightmare. I do. <laughs> Hotels hate me. Ah, that's a, I just. But I always review when I think they're great, too. Fair, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's an either or. I just, I've gotten to the point where, like, where it just, there's a tax I pay, and sometimes shit sucks, and sometimes I go through the, do I want to return this, or do I want to just throw this in the trash and never think about this garbage place Yeah, yeah, again? yeah, absolutely. And that's how I feel about most people, is yeah. I just throw them in the trash when they act like that. Yeah, I just... It, you just get so much of it when you're at the percentage of what I'm reviewing and having yeah. to read every day that I was like, I, I used to respond and get these big, you can't. You know, I'm like, I'm just done with that, bro. I don't have time for that. I'm there's like, a, there's you know a, what I do have time to? To respond to the positive people. Yeah. People that are having a good time enjoying what the fuck I do. There's a there guy are people we're all across friends with. four platforms that love everything I do. That's the ones True. I focus on. Yeah. There's a guy we're all friends with who uh, I, I won't I won't kick him. Because I do love him. But uh, what I do that I think is even worse than kicking him is ignore him. And and he finally has just stopped chiming in on shit. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is you can't make a joke. Me and my wife have this conversation once a week about him. (laughs) (laughs) Just ignore it. Just ignore it. And it bothers so much. And I'm just like, I'm like, dude. it's it's a joke about fucking a dead celebrity. Like I don't know how you managed to turn this into something political or that, whatever. Yeah, Jesus. and I'm just I, I love it. I love my brother. I love him. I love him. So I do I. Him. Oh, hang on. I don't know who this is. I'm not asking who it is. But are the are the comments like making it political and ugly, or the comments like just not funny, or they they're just so boxy. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. They okay, get okay. into. Uh, I got you. I know where we're at. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One dimensional. They feel very Spokane. One dimensional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I just, I'm like, I'm like, dude, it's that, not the time. You know what I mean? Like, it. If I'm, if I'm in here and I'm, I'm ranting and li- it's, it's time to get angry. When you let's a ha- do when this. You're a hammer. Everything looks just, like a nail. And yeah. That is, that he, is, he just has more ferocity about things than I do anymore. Well, and but this I is just, this is not. We. we do agree on a great number of things and we disagree on a great number of things and we have openly disagreed on those things but, but this isn't even about not everything needs to be drug like if i post a picture of an ugly truck let's just leave it at this is a silly looking Thank truck you. It's, it's a joke bro it, yeah, it's, 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 it's like just, when it's time for me it. and you to duke it out i'm always down and call no. my Here's, phone we'll do this but for I prefer an hour to do that in person <laughs> with him Yes, because and I love the doing guy. It. The guy we all know in person is such a different person in real behind life. the keyboard. Yeah. Yes. but this is this is not that he he's not a keyboard warrior because that motherfucker will split your dome. And he, but and he, and he, <laughs> and he believes what he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. It's, he, it's, he will legit pick you up and throw you off a cliff. But he, when, but when there's capable. no edit and you and he can't you can't go you can't go in paragraph form yeah. in person. It's a, it's a quid pro quo. But when we can sit at my table and break bread and talk about things we disagree about, it's always a different conversation. Yes, and I love those conversations me too i just don't like them online yeah. and i just i will not respond i i regard i 
so I have gotten to a place where I don't use social media much for social media more because it's become a business. So I look at my social media, and even with we have a lot of comic friends who think they're funny. Oh, okay. That want to try to tag in on stuff and bring their own little brand of mirth to whatever. You didn't earn this audience. Mm-hmm. I earned this audience with my blood, sweat, and tears. This is this is my mechanic shop. If you come in here acting a motherfucker, I'm going to throw you out the door, and I'm not going to offer you service. Damn. I look at it like business. It's This okay, is my um, job. I this I pay a good deal of my family's bills and are paid with my efforts here. You want to make fun of it and snicker about it at Secret Group in the fucking green room? Laugh all you want, bitch, while I fucking drive a Lincoln home. I don't give a fuck. But uh, <laughs> if you come comic. over here acting like an asshole, you'll be gone. I had a comic do that shit. And I, I want to say his name, but I'm not even going to. Don't uh, give him the fucking the motherfucker, the motherfucker rent. It, it just it was one. It was right after George Floyd died. Went on this fucking rant and just rampage, 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 and then wrote this long manifesto type shit in the comments. And it was like, and people need to hear this. So I just went and clicked on his profile. And none of it's there. Not a mention of it anywhere. And I, and I just put right in the comments, I go, if people needed to hear it, why isn't it over there? Yeah. I go, because you have 300 people looking at your shit. I go, you're not even talking to me. You're talking to my audience. Guess what, motherfucker? They're my audience. And I have a very simple solution of cutting you off from them. Yeah. I, I treat them the same way I treat a scammer or anybody else that's trying to derail the audience. Come buy these shoes. Yeah. Or a Jehovah's I, or, Witness knocking know. on my front door. Or yeah. A, anybody that's trying to derail what I've built. Can, cause I, I heard a comment the other night leaving the secret group. I was in a hurry. I ran in and did a spot. And I was on my way out. And I was talking to Chad. And I was like, oh, da, da, and I just kind of heard it. Uh, oh, he's probably off to make a truck video. I was like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Fucking, yeah. Enjoy eating cherries out of the bar. <laughs> You fuck. <laughs> like, you I'm going the, home to actually smoke a rib. But <laughs> when you say the derail thing, our mutual friend, like I've had that happen where I get so yeah. many because he'll attack other people in the yeah, comments, can't do that, bro. and then not, I get the messages of like, "What is with this guy? Why is he doing this?" And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm just down. like, I'm and I'm telling him like, "Hey, dude, you can't." At, Everything I do on here is comedic. I'm trying to make people giggle, and I'm trying to keep... If you want to have an argument with me, have an argument with me, but don't go after my fucking people. No, no. And I, it, wasn't, it wasn't him, but I had somebody go in after my fucking sister because my sister Mary changed her fucking name, and then he got out of line with a bit of the name calling, and I just went right back in, and I was like, hey, dude, this is some off-Facebook shit. Uh... You need to apologize to that lady now, or the next time I see you at an open mic, you're gonna be saying things with a little less teeth. Chest yeah, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna be saying shit with a little few more, te- with a few less teeth. He's like, "Nah, fuck that bitch." He's like, "That bitch is my fucking sister." Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. You shouldn't be starting fights with motherfuckers on my page anyway. Yeah, that that I have <laughs> no tolerance for any of that because well, it's all a business to me. You guys have for sure made me feel better about my re-entrance into social media this episode. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fine. You're doing feel, fine. You're going to get some hits. You're I gonna feel do. so excited about this new foray into dealing with these wonderful people that y'all speak uh, about. But you, we're going to go to Oklahoma. We're going to blow it out. That's, I've already got some. I, th- I, I, I feel th- sure I've already got some tickets. I sales. think so. Um, I've had some messages. Because that folks first too. post we posted, I had people come out of the woodwork about that have been begging me to come to Oklahoma. I think that's going to be I a lot of fun. I feel bad because we're going to Oklahoma City and then I'm doing the private thing. And I'm like, man, if I could we'll have figured out a way to, to work out a Friday in Oklahoma. We'll have to go back. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll be in Tulsa April 10th. You can come see me and Jerry. Before that, uh, April 4th through the 6th, I'm going to be in Louisville back at the caravan working out some brand new stuff. A uh, bunch more stuff to talk about. I am doing in May. This is kind of exciting now that it's uh, I can talk about it. Uh, May 9th, I will be in Baton Rouge, Louisiana with I saw that. Jimmy Pineapple, Andy Huggins, Juan Villarreal, and Tishon Shannon, and Bob Bigger's staff. Uh, the, the Outlaw Comics are back alive. Uh, some fire blown on the ember by Jimmy Pineapple and uh, the blessing of Andy Huggins. And they're putting, the, they're putting the Avengers back together, and I'll be damned if I wasn't. One of the phone calls that Jimmy made, and I'm kind of honored, we're doing a huge uh, theater show out there. We're taping it, big bunch of stuff in May I saw uh, that. in Baton Rouge. Yeah. So exciting, exciting stuff. Tickets for all those shows at Slateham.com. Say the Avengers, but it reminds me of the movie Red. 
That's ah <laughs> with all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. All right. <laughs> Wait, that was when Bruce Willis still could see stuff and get out of a movie. Yeah, car. you're right. the Bruce Willis. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really thought he was going to call that tour <laughs> Guys I Still Know in Comedy. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's not entirely true. It is a, it's a really good lineup. I'm, kind, I'm excited to see what Sounds happens. Sounds like a great lineup. And, uh, it's Baton Rouge is a good comedy city. And oh, I yeah, yeah. Perform there. In a long Does Mike time. Rogers still own that joint, that, that, that slaughterhouse that's gone. room? Is it's it gone? gone. Yeah. I haven't heard, God, seen I've anything. I've had some wild experiences in that place. That might have been, we should do road he stories Did he own episode. part of the Texas Club, too, in Baton Rouge? I don't know. Because he still throws some big names there every once in a while. Like, he'll get, well, you know, Chris Catan or Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, people who used to be on Saturday Night Dude, Night. talk to Skinny J. And when you get to Louisville uh-huh. and you get to sit down with Skinny, uh-huh. get him to tell you the story of the Chris Catan one-nighter at the theater in Louisville. I may know this. Oh, my God. I almost peed myself. He told me it off air when I was there. I was I was literally, t- me and Will were on the floor. Okay. We won't, we won't <laughs> spoil If it's good, I'll bring the story back yeah. and we'll do it next month. I do remember. I've, I've gotta, all right. I'm going to do that. We got to get out of here. Uh, check all our dates out. Find us all on social media. Chicken, we love you to death. Uh, thank all of you for listening, for sending stuff, for hanging out. It's what we do. We enjoy hanging out with you. Another episode, uh, middle of the month. Go watch my special. It's on my YouTube and uh, Trey Tutson will be back in May. I think that's all the big stuff we're going to run with the Catitator. If that's Catitated. cool with y'all. Uh, we'll see y'all on another episode soon. I believe in good whiskey.